Good morning. Your breakfast is ready in the kitchen. Your mother has left you a message. Would you like to hear it? Morning, honey. I'm sorry I had to run. I know you still feel sick, but you'll feel better soon, I promise. Got to go. Bye. Your food is on the counter. Tasker, what is this? I am not permitted to say. Why? I am not permitted to say. A date. Tasker, when is Mum's birthday? February 26th, 1979. Not, not, not authorized. Not authorized. Authorized. You are not permitted to read that. I am warning you. I will call your mother. Your mother is on the line. Ollie? Ollie, sweetheart? What, what, what are you doing? I was just trying to find a game to play, don't worry. 
Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Well, look, I'm on my way home, sweetheart, so stay off my computer until then. And stay out of my room, please. Hi there. You must be confused right now. You can probably tell from my voice, but I'm you. Right now, I'm being prepped for my euthanasia. But at the time you're listening to this, I'm dead. You're an exact replica of me built by the robotics company Olsen Tech. They copied my conscience and memories to your drive. I decided this, not mum, not anyone else. I decided it for mum, so she can still have me after my death. But here's the thing. I don't know if I'd want to experience a life knowing it's someone else's. Which means, I don't know if you'd want that. You are not entirely me. For one thing, you're not actually paralysed. You're a robot that's been programmed not to walk. You are you. That's why I'm presenting you with a choice. You can stay here, take my place, be a good daughter and make mum happy, or you can stand up and leave to live your own life. <laughs> 